certainly there is a lot of fatigue around the Brexit debate. And this is why our campaign is calling for a break from it in order to discuss the main issues that the country is facing while Parliament is debating Brexit. Of course, we understand that Brexit is a major issue for uh, each and every one of us, but we would like to have more time to debate and to allow the citizens to have a say, not only giving an answer, but also to provide uh, uh, the question on how to solve the, the Brexit conundrum. Uh, as so, Parliament has clearly proven that they don't know how to solve it. But Andrea, you're probably feeling a little bit relieved then at the outcome of the votes last night, which would suggest that Brexit will be delayed and that we can scribble out the 29th of March from our agendas and perhaps circle in the 30th of June, for example? Uh, I think it's uh, uh, very good news what happened yesterday in Parliament, but we would like to see a longer extension than uh, one until June. We think that uh, to allow the citizens to have a say and to start a different process, we would need to have at least a year, if not more, to allow citizens' assemblies to develop in the country uh, and to allow a different process to, uh, to develop. Uh, what we have seen is a clear failure of the government strategy to use the no deal threat to make the deal pass. But now we want to see uh, a completely different uh, process to start. And Andrea, to prove your point, I understand that this Sunday you'll actually be stopping the clocks in a campaign in London. Tell us more about that. Uh, yes, that's right. We are going, we are going to Greenwich. Uh, we are going to do a freeze mob of two minutes to symbolise the two years wasted in this negotiation so far. And we are going to symbolically stop the clock of all clocks uh, to steal time uh, and give it back to the people uh, in order to have a proper people's debate where leavers and remainers can uh, discuss together in order to uh, decide what yeah. to make of Brexit. And we are going to actually be leavers and remainers joining in Greenwich and having a picnic okay. together uh, to discuss how to go forward. Oh, a picnic. I wouldn't mind joining that. I'm sure there'll be lots of debate. And just briefly, Andrea, would you secretly hope for then a second referendum? And you think that's what might be the outcome of so much of a pause and an extension? Uh, well, we think we, the country is not ready for a second referendum. The level of divisions that we see right now is extreme, and it's probably more than before we had the first referendum. So we think we need to have a process that brings to a new decision, but that involves having uh, citizens' assemblies, uh, people coming together, leaders and remainers start talking to each other again. Uh, so not right now. A second referendum can only happen uh, in a few months' time, if not in a couple of years.